Hi traders, in this video I'm going to take you through MetaTrader 5. I'm going to show you how you can download it from the Blueberry Markets website and how you can install it. Once we've installed it, we're going to go through a few of its features and then I'm going to show you how you can connect your account as well. So let's just start. First of all, you want to come to blueberrymarkets.com. You want to come to uh, this area here and if you haven't created a live or a demo account you need to do this first I'd suggest this is the best way of doing this we can obviously do it at a later date as well so don't worry but this is the best way to do it you can either create your live account by coming to this area here or uh, this area here I've already um, got account set up so I'm going to show you how I've got mine set up but next thing you want to do once you're set up is come back to this page come to the client portal and log in once you're logged in you'll come to this page here now really simple you can see trading platforms just uh, n noted down here all we need to do is click on to MT5 now I don't have MT5 or Blueberry Markets MT5 installed on this specific uh, place just yet. So this is all fresh uh, for this um, for this video. So all I'm going to do is come down to PC. Obviously, there are different um, cho choices you can choose from here. I'm going to be downloading on PC. Obviously, we'll get the setup notification here. and We just need to click uh, on that. And what you need to do is allow. Okay, so we need to click yes here. You can see that we've got the user agreement. You can scroll through that and have a little read through that if you wish. Then go to next, and this is where we're going to be downloading that MT5. So once it's downloaded, all we need to do is click finish. And what we'll do is it'll pop open this little MQL5 page. We don't really need this, so we can just X that off. And all we need to do is wait for the pop-up now. And you can see down here we've got this little pop-up that's come up. And you can see that it says Blueberry Markets uh, here. All we need to do is click Next. Now, you can. this is where you can kind of open a demo account or open a, a live account again. Or you can connect to an existing account. If you can click on to connect with an existing account, just put in your login and your password and then change the server to what the server is noted in your login. So if it's a live, click on to live. If it's a demo, click on to demo. But I'm just going to put open a demo account and trade virtual money without any risk just here, just for this example. So I'm going to click next. Just going to type in a few data points in here. So you can see I've got my uh, name. I'm just going to type in my name here. I'm just going to keep my email the same um, we'll send a confirmation code to your email no problem and then I'm just going to leave all this aside the same okay and just click I agree with the terms and conditions for opening the account okay so I'm not going to change anything here I'm just going to click next what you'll see is there's a little bit of uh, information here we've got a login we've got a password we've got an investor password as well those are really helpful if you're going to uh, attach this to things like a um, third party software where it kind of views your account and it will take into consideration your profit and loss and things like that so all I need to do is click finish and you'll get this little notification it says incoming mail and you've got this that says you have a new registered account which is great so this is the mt5 platform in a nutshell essentially we've got this area down here which is the toolbox we've got the area where the charts are we've got market watch area and the navigator account very very similar if you're familiar with mt5 or uh, mt4 already sorry very very similar to that um, but just with some extra upgrades okay now obviously we don't need to necessarily have this open all the time. I've got the trade tab down here. It shows you the balance of the account at the moment. Um, don't really need to, to see all of that information right now. So you can exit off, but you can also drag it down. So it's not filling up the whole area. I like to just kind of have a little bit of it open. So when you have an open trade, you can just see what's going on within that open trade. So there's that uh, going on there. We've got the navigator in here and we've got our market watch. Now our market watch is where all the currencies are going to be listed. Okay, so you can see I've got a few to choose from here. That might not be everything. So we need to just right click on this and click show all. And you can see that we've got all of these uh, currencies, stock indices, stocks, everything like that to be able to choose from within the Blueberry Markets Um brokerage so the navigator we don't necessarily need the navigator unless we're looking at some EAs and things like that but we don't really need that right now so we can just X that off 
To find all those tools again anyway, you just need to come up into view and you can see we've got all of these here. So the navigator that I've just X'd off, you can click onto. We've got the strategy testers, data windows, symbols, things like that. Everything that you will need to find is in this view menu. In the file menu, you've got sort of your new chart area. You've got the, the ability to create a profile and save those profiles. And you've got things uh, where your data folder is as well. So let's say you've downloaded an indicator externally. This is where you'll add that. You'll open your data folder and be able to add your indicators in and around this area. Again, you've got more login details as well. So maybe at some point you set up a live account. You can just come into this area here, log into trade account, and you can change the server to live and then go from there. Okay, but I'm going to leave that all the same because that's the one I'm logged into at the moment. On your insert area, on the insert menu, this is where you'll find all your indicators and your objects and experts and things like that. On the chart menu, you'll have things like your indicator list. So you can see there's some indicators on the charts here right now. If I was to select that, it'll show me that there's a moving average on this chart because that is the chart that is selected. You can see it's kind of got a blue hue around the edge there. Um, you can change things here as well. So you've got bar chart, candlestick, line chart. I'm sure you're very familiar with those. You can change your time frames in and around this area as well. And obviously you can change your template depending on what you are looking to do in the markets. There's also some other information here as well in terms of volumes, trade levels and your trade history. Over on the tools area then, so this area really is if you're going to do any kind of adjustments in MT5 in the background. Um, what I mean by that is obviously you've got your new order, so that's if you want to place a, an order in the markets. If you come down to options, this gives you all the information here. So let's say you wanted to set up notifications on your MetaTrader 5 mobile app. You can come into this area here, click onto notifications and have the ability to set that up. Going on to window then, this just is literally showing us what is available to us at the moment. We can tile the windows, so that's what this this is right now. It's tiled. We can cascade them so they look like this. Um, we can tile vertically, so we can keep them like that, or we can arrange the, uh, the sort of icons there, but that's not really that important. Um, what I like to do really whenever I first set up a uh, an account is just kind of get everything in order so the first thing i like to do is just come over to the left hand side here you can see i've got the market watch area now i'm just going to right click on this area now what i really like to do is go down to um, the columns area and i like to add the spread okay that's the first thing i like to do because the spread is the cost of business for a trader so essentially we want to know what the spread is at that moment okay now you've got it in a in a nutshell here you can see your bid and your ask price so you can see and all you need to do is work out the difference that's what the spread's going to be but I like to see it at a quick glance I like to know if the spread has widened um, because sometimes spreads can be floating and if they are floating that means they're going to widen uh, especially around large news events that can happen when there's large volumes in the market so I don't want to get uh, caught on that essentially so I like to have my spreads here Daily change, I think, is really helpful, especially when you block the currencies together. Um, for instance, if you had like a block of yen market, you can see what is the driver behind that market. Is it the yen or is it the other currencies? So I like to kind of work out uh, how that works as well. So you can definitely do that. There are some other things that you can go on to. You can look at the ask, low, high, things like that. But I don't really think you need anything other than the spread and the daily change. Um, bid and ask pretty much uh, remains there as well. Okay, And obviously you can sort these by the symbol, the bid, ask, the spread, the daily change. You can see what the biggest sort of loser is, what the biggest gainer is in terms of stocks by being able to click on that. So we don't need the navigator anymore, essentially. Um, and we don't need this so wide. So what I'm going to do is when you kind of hover over an area you'll see like two arrows appear so i can just kind of move that away i'm just going to maximize this chart for now and uh, i'm going to show you how you can kind of set up your chart here so what this area here is here right now you'll see a sell and a buy button that is your sort of quick uh, or one click trading area okay so what that essentially is telling us is that if i was to kind of want to buy or sell now i can work out my volume here i can click buy and sell that will directly execute me into that position at that price um 
Do I recommend having this on all the time? Probably not. So you can just do that by uh, right clicking to get to the properties area or to the sub menu here. And we just need to click one click trading to get that off. On the area here, you can see it's very, very similar to what you can see on the sort of main sort of tabs at the top. But you've got everything here really templates, time frames, and things like that. But most importantly, we need to come down to properties. Properties is where we can change the look of our charts and um, essentially what is featured on the chart. So the scheme here is green on black at the moment. If I change it to black and white, you can actually see that we get a little bit of a preview here. And you can change absolutely everything in this market. So if I wanted to change the bullish candle from a white to a let's say a, a, a blue you'll see that the preview then comes up and shows that that's a blue okay if I wanted to change it to any kind of color in here maybe you prefer like a green then you can do that and to save those changes I'll just click OK but I'll just show you the other menus here so if we go on the show tab this is where we've got quite a lot of things here we can show our trade history we can show trade levels we can show volumes period separators is a good one to have on especially if you're trading lower time frames but I'm going to leave that off for now you can actually uh, get rid of the grid here so it looks a little bit cleaner so sometimes I like to get rid of the grid and then leave the uh, period separators on and then obviously you've got other buttons and things to kind of play with in and around that area common this is where we can kind of change it from bar charts candlesticks uh, things like that we've got the auto scroll feature scale obviously you can try and move your scales and things like that as well but not really important for when you're first starting out so i'm going to save that as it is so this is the little profile we've got right now i can see that there's a moving average on the chart two ways we can get rid of that we can right click go on to indicators list hit it here and hit delete second way would be just to hover over the moving average right click on it it'll give you an option to delete that so i want to try and set this up as a sort of plain profile here what you might want to do as well when you first load metatrader 5 as well is come up to your higher time frame so i'll come up to the monthly here you can see that it's currently trying to load the monthly time frame and what you'll do is once you've kind of loaded that in uh, we can go to the other time frames with with pretty much uh, ease so if i go to the weekly daily four hour one hour 30 minute 15 minute five minute and one minute i can load these up very very quickly now because they've already been loaded um, so just to kind of go over the top toolbar then before we move on to saving that as a profile because we might want to add some indicators and things you've got your cursor icon here you've got your crosshair so if i select the cross crosshair you can see it's come on here to get rid of that you can actually just click the middle of your mouse and um or click on it uh click on the page sorry click in the middle of your mouse and you can see that it's then brought back in you've got the vertical line tool as well so these are just your drawing tools up here you can change them at any time so if you right click there's a customized area there's multiple um, sort of drawing tools that you can choose from you can insert them and remove them as you wish i'm not going to go through all of those right now You've got the Fibonacci retracement tool, things like that, but any any objects are kind of in the first area. We then have time frames. If you want to add or take away any time frames, same thing. Just go right click and come to the customize area. They've got loads of different um, sort of time frames that you can choose from. That's probably one of the biggest sort of differences between MT4 and MT5. There are more sort of time frames that you can choose from. It gives you a bit more flexibility. And then we've got other things here. So uh, chart area here. So this is to create a new chart. We'll do that mainly in the main menu. We've got um, profiles up here. Like I said, we're going to save a template and create a profile in a moment. Show the symbol list. Uh, we've got all these kind of things up here. New order. This is where you change from a candlestick to a bar chart. Zoom in, zoom out, tile the uh, charts. And then you just need to maximize it again. So all your stuff really at the top there. I'll let you play at that on your own. Um, but essentially, this is the chart that we're going to be working with today. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to come down to template. I'm going to click save template. Now you'll get this little area here. Now just to make it really easy on yourself, click zero underscore. Okay, I'm just going to put test there. You can call it whatever you want. Um, but I'm just going to put test. Now, the reason I do that is because it brings that template to the top, makes it super simple. So if I was to go to dollar Swiss here, I just need to come to right click because you can see it doesn't have our settings on it at the moment. 
template zero test and it will bring that template onto the chart for us same with pound i can just do this zero test put that on there same with dollar yen test in there so let's say i want to save this kind of as a profile at the moment it's default we know that because if you look at the bottom of the screen it says default here and if i click on that i alternatively you can come up to manage profiles here and click down here and you can see that so i'm just going to click save as and i'm going to put this as the majors okay majors and i'm going to add some charts to this as well but i'm going to click ok and that's saved that as the majors right now so what i want to do i want to add the majors to the chart now you can see i've got every single sort of uh, market or asset open on the left hand side within my market watch you can change between these so if i right click you can see it comes down to sets and these are some predetermined sets within this area here so you can actually see it says forex major if i click on forex majors this is what we've got at the moment dollar yen euro pound us dollar now if i wanted to add something so let's say i wanted to add the us um dollar cad for instance i can come on to here type in dollar and it says dollar cad i can just click that click the plus button and you can see that it's added dollar cad here now if i want to add that to the charts as a new chart simply all i need to do is right click chart window and it will open up a chart window you can see the tab has appeared here as well and all i need to do is right click template zero test okay because that is our template that we're using at the moment again what i would recommend is once you've loaded a new chart just go to your monthly let it load all those candlesticks in for you this might be a bit tedious at first but once you've loaded it once um, it will load up quicker uh, the next time again let's say we want to add some more to our majors um so you know we can add different things as well so if i wanted to type in sort of um us dollar pairs again so if we're going to the us dollar here i can see the us dollar index is what i was looking for uh, and i'm just going to e click enter and i've got the us dollar index here as well i'm just going to add the chart window and i'm just going to put the template the test now you can put these in a, an order as well so you can see that it's got the us dollar index down here if i click and drag it to the left it will move it to the front which is uh, something i like to do i like to arrange them in order so i'm going to go dollar index euro dollar pound dollar swiss dollar yen dollar cad i'm happy with how that looks uh, right now so that's pretty much it that is your meta trader fly platform in a nutshell you've got your uh, toolbox down here where your trade here's your ex uh, your exposure your trade history is down here as well there are some other things here but i don't think they're as useful to you especially if you're new to mt5 you don't really need to know anything of, about that but trade is here this is where your open trades will be um obviously your history is when your trade has closed out it will appear in the history tab so i can just give you a quick example of that if i just go to one click trading hit sell you'll get this one click trading notification once you've accepted that you don't need to accept it again if i click ok here click sell um what i can do is on this line here i can kind of drag it up and down so drag in a stop loss for instance and i'll drag in a sort of take profit down there just just for a quick example um so if i just close this out now okay you'll see that it's updated my trade balance here and if i go to the history tab you'll see that the history of that order is here as well okay so that is your mt5 trading walkthrough in a nutshell i've tried to keep it as quick as possible by giving you as much information as possible as well uh, if you want to see more mt5 videos we've got loads of different videos on mt5 so you'll be able to find that uh, throughout our catalog here so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next video